Welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. Uh, today we are using the HVK30. I've seen a couple of people using this thing and talking about the high caliber ammo and how overpowered it was. But uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. So I've been using this thing for a while to get the high caliber and it wasn't worth it to be honest. Instead, we're going to use the uh, OWC barrel, uh, the damage range silencer, and uh, the regular 44 magazine size. Because this is going to have uh, 82, I think, 82 range. And it's just crazy like this. Like, I was using it with the damage caliber and it just doesn't feel the same. You need to reload a lot more. Like, I don't know. It's just not the same. So after getting the 50 headshots and that, it was kind of a waste of time. However, this thing has been so much fun. How it is right now. And I'm really not sure if uh, on COD Mobile or not, if you get seen on the map if you shoot with a silencer. Not 100% sure on that. Because I know that like, Black Ops 2 and all that stuff. When you use the silencer, it hides you from the minimap. I don't know. It doesn't say that in the description on these ones. Ah, so already, as you can see, its fire rate and range seem to just be spitting a retarded amount of damage real quick. It's it's hard to compete against. Objective almost complete. Keep it up. We lost A. Like you don't have to try hard at all to get a kill with this thing. I'm really surprised that man didn't turn me out. I just shut him and I'm taking the objective. Ah, uh, I see what he's doing there. He's running for backup. Yeah. Okay. All these score streaks, I'm going to keep them for the next round. I've been using Persistence again because with the, the Fennec and so many other annoying things happening in the game, Score streaks are now annoying to get. Like, you can still get them, but you're not going to be 100% guaranteed on getting a stealth chop or, or anything like that. Capture the objectives. And I put VTOL on again with persistence, but like, one, it's overkill, Enemy and two, we don't really. We don't really need to. And like if you don't get it in the first half of the game and then like you get it towards the end of the thing and you're not gonna help. It's not the best. Oh and there are maps that you end up on like um, What's that snowfall one when you're at the lodge, I forget the name of it, summit or something. There's very little you can actually hit with a VTOL in that map. So you're better off doing whatever else you want to do with these score streaks on that map. Oh uh, yeah, obviously the, the sentry gun's great because a lot of people want to run Vulture. I got cold blooded specifically for that reason because score streaks are annoying. And then uh, that silo, I can't remember what it's called right now, the missile strikes. That's really handy in domination to just keep people off just on it. Sit straight into that guy, so just get into the base of all that. Losing Charlie. Anyway, like I was saying, um it's really handy for keeping people off positions. Um, some people use it at people spawn, but you know, if that's what you want to do or whatever. But uh yeah, it's really great for keeping people off positions. And then obviously the stealth chopper is just a little annoying. So obviously, if people are running, um, wow, well, okay. <laughs> I'll just take the whole team then, whatever. Anyway, if people are running uh, rocket launchers, um, annihilators, the FJs, whatever, 
then they'll be able to shoot down the chopper pretty quickly, but if they're not, then choppers are handy and easy to get. So, the H3K is insane still. To be honest, I would prefer using the AGR556. That's like my favorite thing from this whole season. But this is good, good for range as well. So yeah, like I was saying, the, uh, the 44 Magnum, Magnum, <laughs> magazine size feels better than using the other one with damage and range. Alright, thanks for watching. We touch, we break, make it seem like we feel the same, we love.